G'day everyone, Ian Fegan here, also known as Professor Shoelace. Today's video is about checkerboard lacing. This is how it looks on my Ian Shoelace site. It's a lace of one colour, snaking left and right through all the eyelets, and a lace of another colour, weaving up and down through those lace segments. Forms a sort of a springy checkerboard pattern. Now let's look at that on a real shoe. Just zoom out a little. And we'll begin. Start by feeding the end of one colour lace, in this case purple, into the bottom left eyelet and just tuck it into the shoe. You can, if you like, tie it off there or use something like a lace anchor to hold it more securely. But in this instance I'll just be tucking it in traditionally. Now, run it straight across and in through the opposite eyelet. Now, I'm using laces that are only moderately wide. Um, probably doesn't look that great with, with round laces, but flat laces work the best with checkerboard. Now, we'll run straight up the inside and out through the next higher eyelet. Straight across the outside and in. So we continue doing this, um, just make sure you straighten out all the segments as you go, straight up the inside and out, straight across the outside and in. Obviously I'm just going to repeat that all the way up to the top of the shoe, so rather than doing that all live, let's go to one that I've pre-laced. When you get to the top of the shoe, feed it straight across and in. And once again, just tuck that into your shoe. Um, or use lace anchors or something else to finish it off. Okay, now we've got the horizontal done. Uh, we take a lace of another colour. In this case, I've got a nice pink one. Um, again, tuck that into the bottom of the shoe somewhere. And simply begin running it up the shoe weaving in and out through the segments that are there until you get to the top and try to um, sort of tuck it over to the left hand side as much as possible then we fold it over the top lace and again weave in and out we get to the bottom. Now as I said before this sort of forms a springy weave. Um, it doesn't really hold securely. You could if you like um, lace it in such a way that you can tie it off at the top there. Uh, but it's a bit tricky to get the shoe on and off without loosening all the all the checkerboard so most people just sort of have it effectively just turns the shoe into a slip-on. In other words, they don't have it tied off at all. Now again, I could keep going with this and weave up and down, but I'll show you one that I've laced earlier. Um, that's the finished result when you've finished going all the way, and then once again you get to the top or the bottom, depending on whether you run out of lace sooner or run out of room sooner, and um, simply tuck it in to produce the finished checkerboard. Now this is with uh, moderately wide shoelaces. If you go for quite fat shoelaces, you really get a good checkerboard effect because the um, you know, the laces meet all the way at the squares, whereas here they've sort of got long verticals um, in between the checkers. Either way, um, that's checkerboard lacing. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want more detailed instructions and diagrams about this lacing method, you can go to the Ian Shoelace site.